The Fed resists early interest rate rise. Thank you for joining us for another Bank of Cardiff newscast. It seems there's to be no early rise in US interest rates following a statement from the Federal Reserve that indicated that it would be looking for significantly stronger economic performance before it could agree an increase in borrowing costs. The move follows news that growth has stalled, with data showing that the world's largest economy grew by an annualized rate of just 0.2 percent in the first quarter of 2015, with only some of the poor performance due to transitory factors like the record-breaking winter weather that affected large areas of the country in the early part of the year. The Fed has steadfastly refused to act precipitously on the matter of interest rates, which has led to most pundits betting on rates staying in the 0 to 0.25% zone until autumn at the very earliest. There's a mixed bag of economic indicators at play. Job gains are leveling out, while the unemployment rate remains steady. There's a slowing of growth in household spending, but a rise in households' real incomes, with consumer sentiment riding high. Recovery in the housing sector is stubborn and exports have declined. Interest rates have hovered just above zero in the US for several years now. The Fed's Open Market Committee stated it would only be appropriate to raise the target range for the federal funds rate when it has seen further improvement in the labor market and is reasonably confident that inflation will move back to its 2% objective over the medium term. It's fair to say that financial markets have been hit even harder than expected by the brutal winter weather. Economists were expecting a dip of around one percentage point in the early part of 2015 from the 2.2% growth rate experienced in the last quarter of 2014, but not the steep decline that actually unfolded. There are other factors at work. Growth in consumer spending slowed to 1.9% in the first quarter, down from 4.4% in late 2014 and the weakest for a year. Official data demonstrated that despite a drop in energy prices, cheaper bills hadn't boosted consumer spending patterns, possibly due to people paying down their credit card debt or bolstering their savings. The construction sector was hit hard by the bad weather. While some analysts are predicting a second quarter bounce back, there's still doubt in the market as to how strong this rebound will be. Growth at home is also being held back by the continued weakness of the global economy. While the dollar may have made gains, U.S. exporters have struggled. Net exports fell 7.2% in the first quarter, slicing a percentage point off the overall growth figure. Wall Street had been expecting the central bank to begin raising interest rates as early as June. But resolutely sluggish growth makes it unlikely that the Fed will act until September at the earliest. The Fed's statement makes it clear that the setbacks are regarded as temporary, with officials predicting a similar pattern to that of 2014, when strong summer growth outpaced a poor first quarter. Although growth in output and employment slowed during the first quarter, the committee continues to expect that with appropriate policy accommodation, economic activity will expand at a moderate pace. That's all for now. Join us later this week for another Bank of Cardiff newscast. And remember that all our newscasts are available on our website. That's www.bankofcardiff.com forward slash newscasts.